So introduce yourself. I'm Lisa Whelan. I'm a management consultant. I'm based out of San Francisco, California. And why are you here? I'm here at the Girl Geek Dinners just to meet some new people. And um, I know the guys from Astroware. So <laughs> I know the guys from Astroware, so they asked me to come and do a little talk on what I've been up to. So what I'm doing is a little day in the life of video. Five minutes on your typical day, if there's such a thing. Um, so if you introduce what you do and how you do it and a few bits and pieces for the kids in school and other people that might be considering moving into your industry area. Great, okay. So um, I actually don't have a typical day in the life. Since I'm a consultant, I'm a freelance consultant, which means that for periods of time, I will be working for one particular company and have a lot of stability and, and regular uh, job type things which would make a pattern of my day. But for a lot of the time, um, I do things like blogging, um, go to events, try to meet prospective clients and things like that. So one of my most recent clients was Palm, who makes the Trio, which is a mobile phone. And I was working in their business development group, working on uh, how to make the Windows Mobile Trios have more applications available on them. Uh, so I was working with third-party developers, who, including Astroware, who's here tonight, um, to, to try to get them to make things that would work with this Windows Mobile Trio. And uh, basically, that included things like doing licensing agreements. So if we buy, as a company, um, X number of thousands of licenses to use your software on our phones, that will cost X number of dollars or cents per unit and so I would go negotiate those deals. I would also go to developer events, like really geeky developer events, uh, porting labs, um, things where if you're trying to have an application moved from one particular software language to another, I would go to those events and talk about the advantages of developing for Windows Mobile or Palm OS. Um, and so those were kind of, that's, that's what I used to do every day, talking to developers. When's your application going to be done? When can we see it on the new phone? Um, how much is it going to cost us to license? Have you thought about doing this or that, giving them marketing ideas? Um, that was a day in the life at Palm. And then most recently, now I am uh, just got in from San Francisco today. Um, so I'm at this Girl Geek dinner. So this is a fairly atypical day. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be on vacation. And then on Monday I have a meeting with a prospective client to talk about um, how I might be able to help them in business development and marketing for a project they're working on in the mobile space, specifically with regard to mobile payments and trying to figure out how you link in um, point of sale systems at, store, at stores like um, Tesco or um, H&M or what have you, and how you make uh, people able to purchase items on their mobile phone as well as going through a kiosk. So how did you get into this industry area and, and what inspired you to go into it in the first place? Well, straight out of university, I was working uh, for, well, I went to university in the States at Boston College and I went on to do my master's degree at Oxford uh, in the UK. I had done a junior year abroad at, the, uh, at Oxford as well, so I knew I liked it and came over to do a master's degree. And then straight out of university, uh, I went to work at Nokia in the States and so that's when I learned about mobile and kind of uh, found that really interesting. And then from there I went to go work at PA Consulting Group in the UK and I did a lot of IT, um, business development, marketing, communications type work for clients throughout the United Kingdom. And then I went uh, to start my own company uh, and I basically have been working with clients ever since, so including Palm and uh, various companies from the UK that were trying to make it in the US. Cool. So if you could tell students or young people one thing about what you do, like just one thing about how you would inspire them, what would it be? What one piece of advice would you give them? I would say find a career that you find really fascinating and just follow your dream. So don't pay attention when people say, um, you know, you, you know, you might want to think about this or that. If it doesn't interest you, don't do it because it'll be a short-lived career. You know, think about something that's exciting where you can um, do things that you think you can be passionate about for a long period of time. So for me, it was it was working with people and working in technology, and it's something that uh, it's a career that keeps growing for me. Um, for friends I know who've become lawyers because their parents gave them pressure to become lawyers, it's not really worked out so well. So I'd say just follow your dream and, and try to make your career as adaptive as possible to what you enjoy doing. So were you geeky to begin with? Did you always um, want to play with technology? <laughs> or? I, I suppose I was always a bit of a dork, but um, <laughs> probably not um, a real technology geek uh, until, uh, until the mobile phones started coming out. The, uh, in the mid-90s, mid I started playing with mobile phones. So. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Alison.
it's been great to talk to you. Thank you. Lisa, sorry. <laughs>